Hello, my name is Jessie and I am an educator here for Bywater Solutions. In today's tutorial, we are going to walk through attaching a file to MARC records in Koha. First, let's start by logging into the staff client. Once we are logged into the staff client, we will want to start in our administration. To enable this functionality, we will need to add the upload.pl plugin to the 856 subfield U in one or multiple MARC frameworks. So let's start by going down to Koha Administration. We're going to come over here on the right hand side under Catalog and select MARC Bibliographic Frameworks. If you would like to turn on the upload.pl plugin, for your default framework, if that is what you use on a regular basis, the first thing we'll want to do is come over to Actions and select our MARC structure. From here, we can either scroll down to the bottom and use the next arrows to go to the 856 tag, or you can come up to the top where it says Search for Tag and enter 856 dollar sign U and that will take us right into our 856 subfield constraints. From here, this will take you into your basic constraints, your advanced constraints, and then finally your other options. And your other options, you're going to want to scroll down to our third drop down menu where it says plugin. From there, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and select upload.pl. Once we've selected that for our 856 subfield U, we're going to come down to the bottom and select Save Changes. Once we've saved that in there, we can use our bread crud train to come right back to our MARC frameworks. Now, if there is another framework that you use on a regular basis that you would also like to add the upload.pl plugin to, you'll want to come back here select the actions, go into mark structure, and then again you're going to want to come down and either use this next button which will take me all the way through my tags. Um, we're going to come in here, we're going to select our 856 subfield, come over here to actions, select our subfields, and that will take us right into our subfields that we can make an edit for. We'll scroll down to the bottom one more time, and next to the U subfield, we're going to select Edit. Then we're going to come down to our Other Options, select the Public Plugin drop down menu, and then scroll all the way down to Upload PL. Once we've made those changes, we're going to say Save Changes. And now we have added the Upload PL plugin to both our default framework and to our binders frameworks. Now our next step is going to be in cataloging. So let's use our more drop down menu and we're going to scroll down to cataloging. From here we're going to come in to select our new record. Um, whether you use your Z3950 server or you're just doing original cataloging, the next step we're going to do is go into our framework. If we come over to the 8 tab, that will take us into the 856U subfield, and now you'll notice that we have a tag editor next to the U field. If I select that, that will open a new window for our upload screen. So from here, I can select Choose File. This will allow me to upload a PDF, an image, JPEG, ping, TXT, whatever it may be, into my MARC record. So I'm going to select that, select Open, and you'll see up here where it says Select Files, it gives me that .png. Now here we have our category, you can see it selected that picture files, and I'm going to come over here and say Upload. That will take me right in um, where you can see it's uploaded this particular PNG file, so I can come over here and select Choose. You'll notice now that that takes me and gives me a URL that takes me right in. Um, it shows me that URL um, 
in the system and now I have that URL that's been attached. You can finish by entering in any public note and then coming up and saving your record. Once your record is saved, you would walk through the same process of adding your item. Now let's come over here to the Normal tab. Here you can see um, that we have our 856 online resource, which gives me a link to um, what I put in as Jesse's talk. If I click on that, that will download the file that is attached to my record, and then I can open that right up and see the file that is attached. If we want to take a look at what it would look like in the OPAC, let's jump over there real quick and we can see uh, we have a link to um, the file that I have attached to this record. It's called Jesse's Talk. And if I select that, that will download that file right there for me and then I can up open up that file. One thing to keep in mind when uploading files to MARC records, this will increase the server size over time. Um, especially for very large files, this could affect performance um, if you attach um, extremely large files um, in the system. Uh, if Bywater is hosting um, or you're self-hosted and you're interested in doing this, uh, please let us know if, if you will be uploading a very large set of files or if you're not using Bywater, please talk to your support vendor about options for your server size. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. For more videos, please visit www.bywatersolutions.com. My name is Jessie, and I'm an educator here at Bywater Solutions.